Good morning, and thanks for making ikaboom.tv part of your morning routine. I'm Ruben, and this is Joan Romero, and today we're going to talk about how to get that busy work done. So let's get down to business. Busy work. How do you get it done? Does it drive you crazy? <laughs> Busy work, busy work. No, so, nobody likes busy work. Uh, no, we don't like, like busy work. work, but it has to get done. Somebody has to do it. So I think like in school when you had busy work, it was a drudgery because I'm not learning anything new. This isn't really worth anything. The teacher just gave us something to keep us busy, to keep us out of trouble. But when you're in business, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. Because in business, it's something that has to get done. It's important. But maybe as a business owner, you don't want to do it because you're like, okay, this isn't necessarily moving my business forward as fast as I would like. It's just stuff that needs to get done. Yeah. And I'm the one who's doing it. Yeah. In business, the way I would define busy work is the things that you have to get done, but almost anyone can do. So it doesn't require a lot of skill, doesn't require a lot of um, training or experience or anything like that. It's pretty much something you can turn over to somebody else. So I think probably your first line of defense, when at all possible, when you have busy work to get done, is see if there's somebody you can turn it over to. You know, so if you um, hate, you know, having to post to Facebook every day, but you really feel like it's important to your business... Find somebody else who can do that for you. Um, if you hate or if you uh, have busy work where you've got to do, you know, some copying and pasting and moving and whatever of some content. Repetitious. Repetitious kind of stuff. Find somebody else that can do it for you. Um, that's that's your first line of defense. Now, not everyone has that luxury to be able to hire someone or do something out. And, you know, we talked about that in a previous video about you know, should you charge more or less, uh, you know, and maybe your pay structure is too low if you can't hire someone to do it. And I think that's something when you have provide a service, um, you need to build in the idea that somebody else may have to do this. That That's just the price of doing business. So um, that's important. And if you can do it and you can give it, hand it over to someone else, then that's your first line of defense. What, but yeah, that's awesome. Because then you, you can then you can work on growing and hiring more people to take care of more busy work. But let's assume you don't have people to just hand it off to, and you got to find a way to get it done yourself. Because if you don't do it, things will fall through the cracks. Your books won't be up to date. Your clients you know, will be upset. Clients will be upset. Things won't be getting done. The sky will be falling. <laughs> I think find a time of the day to get it done. You can schedule it. So for me, that's later in the day to do busy work. Because busy work can also get, um, it can stretch <laughs> and fill up all the time you have. And then you're like, oh, I just spent all day doing this. Um, but if you put your most productive items first, you know, you call those clients you need to follow up with, you send those invoices so you still have money coming in, you know, take care of all the important things you need to do first. And then um, when you're already kind of tired, like maybe you've already exhausted some of that other energy, you can then uh, sit down, let your mind go while you're cutting and pacing or doing whatever busy work you need to do. Yeah. So I think that's a great point is how do you structure your time? You know, you don't want to sk schedule your busy work with your most productive time. You want to schedule that into more the, the probably usually for most of us, it's the end of the day when you're just kind of your brain is fried. You've been working all day. You can't really think. You can't really make decisions. You don't really know how to answer that email from this one person or that person. Um, you want to get the busy work done when you're not thinking about stuff so much and we, we talk a lot about eating frogs. So we'll often we'll talk about trying to get eat our frogs at the beginning of the day. Those are all the things that have to get done that you don't want to do. Try to get those done at the beginning of the day. Get them over with so that the rest of the day you can get the really important stuff that you enjoy more done. And by the end of the day, you actually, you know, 
fill that in with some busy work with that has to be done but is just kind of mindless because often um you know you'll go through a whole day and your mind is is too fried to think by you know four or five and you know if you work for yourself six seven eight nine (laughs) ten o'clock at night um you know you want to get that kind of busy work stuff done yeah that's what i think that that's a good way to do it okay so you can give it to someone else Plan it into your day. Any other advice we have for uh, getting busy work done? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, there's a, a just to go step back a little bit with the giving it somebody else. Just because um, you can't hire someone full time doesn't mean you can't find someone to do it. There are other companies who can take a lot of things off your plate. Accounting, uh, payroll processing companies, um, software that can help take a lot of those things off your plate. So there are other solutions to help take some of the busy work off your plate that isn't directly hiring. You can find someone to hire part-time too if you have that much work for them. But if you don't, there are are other ways besides having to bring someone on and saying, oh, here, you do this. Um, There are companies that specialize specifically in keeping your book straight or organizing your documents or... Um, keeping track of all of your um, banking and whatever, whatever it is. There's software and companies that do some of these things. So Being there are efficient. other options. There are other options besides yes. um, doing that. But the key important part still, so it's still the same topic, is try to get some of that, as much of that busy work off of your plate as possible. Because as the business owner, you are steering the business. You need to work on your business more than you need to work in it. And so um, in order to do that, you have to be step back from a lot of that work. Now, again, if you have to do it, we shared some pretty good tips on how to do it more efficiently. Yeah, and if you have any tips or tricks or things that you've heard, uh, please share. We would love to hear them in the comments below. Have a great day.